Peace and blessings, brothers and sisters. Um, in a previous video, I had spoken about another vision, another visit. I spoke about the fact that uh, Elohim, Yah, I had a vision where I looked and I saw the angel of the Lord. And when I looked, he had on long robes and light. It was just light beaming everywhere. Um, I couldn't see a face. I couldn't see features because it was just lights beaming everywhere. And um, after that, I saw myself in a very pleasant place. It was a positive, or it felt very positive, the atmosphere. And I felt the presence of the Spirit of the Lord. Um, but then, out of nowhere, I heard this blood-curdling scream. Um, I spoke about how it made the hairs on the back of my neck stand up. I mean, it was a wretched, wretched scream for help. Um, it made me, when I had the vision, because um, I had been in my bedroom laying down, I was ready to jump out of the bed, look out the window. It just, I started praying. I started interceding, begging God, um, Yah, to help us, to help. I started praying an accessory prayer. Um, well, as I've been meditating on it, the vision, the spirit of the Lord gave me the knowing. I, I, the knowing came, the interpretation of it. Yes, we are supposed to pray in accessory prayer, prayer for the sins of our ancestors, prayer, pray for the give, forgiveness of our sins, the sins of our ancestors, that God will come and get us from the land of our captivity. Uh... But the interpretation came this morning. It's so strong on me. The knowing came. The knowing. Uh, I want to read something to you out of the book of Exodus, chapter 2, verses 24 through 25. Book of Exodus, chapter 2, verses 24 and 25. Um, as a matter of fact, no, I'm going to start at the, the middle. We're in Egypt. I'm going to start at verse 23. And it came to pass in the process of time that the king of Egypt died. And the children of Israel sighed by reason of the bondage. And they cried. And their cry came up unto God by reason of the bondage. And God heard their groaning. And God remembered his covenant with Abraham, with Isaac, and with Jacob. And God looked upon the children of Israel, and God had respect unto them. God heard. God heard. I was sitting in the chair listening to a brother talk about scripture and different interpretations he had. And then all of a sudden I got flooded with the knowing. The reason why I had the vision, seeing the spirit of the Most High God first, seeing his presence, feeling the presence of the angel of the Lord so strong, and then still remaining in that positive space of the spirit of the Most High, and suddenly hearing this wretched, wretched cry. I mean, it was so wretched. I, my, my gut reacted. My heart reacted. My whole body responded to it to the point you could hear the terror. You could hear the trauma. You could hear the wretchedness of it. What I've come to understand, that's us crying out to God, but the spirit of the most high letting me know I heard it. I hear it. I'm here. I know. Okay. In verse 24, and God heard their groaning and God remembered his covenant with Abraham, with Isaac and with Jacob. And God looked upon the children of Israel and God had respect unto them. When I first went into the vision, I felt the love of God. I felt the connection. I felt his drawing. He was drawing me. When I saw the lights all over, just beams and beams of light around the angel of the Lord, there was a love. There was a peace. There was a uh, belonging. At the same time, as I looked, 
and entered into this place that was still pleasant and heard this wretched, wretched cry. The, the, the kind of stuff that a person screams right before they're dying or something. It's just, or, or they see a horror, something horrible is happening to them or about to happen. The spirit was still there. It's letting me know God has heard our cry. And to find it in the book of Exodus is also prophetic because it was during the time when God was about to remove them from Egypt. And what does Egypt represent? The house of bondage, uh, America, the lands that we've been scattered to. God hears our cry. God knows what's happening to us. And God has respect unto what is happening to us. I also want to read something out of the book of Numbers, because a lot of people might say, um, um, wait a minute, why would um, God, wait a minute, um, I'm in the book of Numbers, chapter 12, verse 6, and he said, hear now my words, if there be a prophet among you, I, the Lord, will make myself known unto him in a vision, and I will speak unto him in a dream. Um, he's talking about how there's another place in scripture where God says, would I do something in my prophet not know it? The, the vision that God gave me is encouragement. It's to let us know he knows what's going on. He hears our cry. He has respect unto us. And we are at the end, brothers and sisters, the signs, the visions, um, the prophetic uh, seeing is coming to pass because God is about to move. No man knows the day, no man knows the hour, but keep praying, keep keep repenting of our sins, the sins of our ancestors, because God knows what this brutal nation has and is doing to us, uh, locking people away in prison houses without any intent to let them go killing them and holding themselves not guilty, the slaughter, the lies, the robbery. God knows that's why that vision came. God knows and he spoke that vision came and the interpretation came because, like I said, Exodus chapter 2, verses 24 and 25, and God heard their groaning. And God remembered, God made a covenant with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. God looked upon the children of Israel, and God had respect unto them. Um, one of the other things that kept coming to me, it, it just reverberates over and over in my mind, is God blesses those who bless us, and God will curse those who curse us. Well, as... The curse of our punishment is ending and the blessings fall upon us. You still have people who curse us, who mistreat us, but what they don't understand, the curse of God is upon them. And this thing is just going to grow exponentially. It's, it's going to pick up speed and the blessings as well are picking up speed. The spiritual enlightenment, the visions, the um, the spiritual presence of the Most High God. It's not staying on one level. As we enter into the blessings, you have to remember as his chosen people that the spirit of the Most High God, he did not deal with us like he dealt with other nations. Um, the angel of the Lord encamping around Israel. Um the spirit of the Lord, the, the, the prophecy, the, the visions are increasing and they are going to increase because God is coming for us. But I just want to encourage you today, brothers and sisters, once again, I'm just going to read this. And now I understand the vision that I had previously where first I saw the angel of the Lord, spirit of the Lord. And light beams just shooting out of his head. You, you, you couldn't see his face. It was just light beams everywhere. 
And then to still feel that receptive love, to feel that um, connection. And as I turned and still in a pleasant space, feeling the protective love of God, feeling that connection, heard that wretched, wretched cry. It was to let me know while God is present, God heard it too. God knows. He hears. He remembers his covenant with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And God looked. He's seeing what is going on. He knows. And he had respect unto them. This is in uh, Exodus chapter 2, verses 24 and 25. And as it was then, so is it now in Egypt. God knows. He remembers his covenant, brothers and sisters. Be encouraged. Encourage one another. Um, get your house in order. Pray for the forgiveness of our sins and the forgiveness of the sins of our ancestors. But this brutal, torturous uh, captivity that we are in, it's over. It's over. It's coming to an end. The visions are increasing because any day, no man know that they are our, but any day, any hour, we're leaving. We're leaving and we're going with the Most High God. He's looked. He's heard our groaning and our suffering. And he has respect unto us. He remembers his covenant with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And whosoever blesses us, will be blessed. But those who have cursed us and treated us brutally, we don't have to lift a hand. God is in the midst of us. He's joying over us. Some of you wake up and you hear singing because he joys over us with singing. He rests over us in his love for us. He is in the midst and he knows what's going on, brothers and sisters. He knows. He knows. Be at peace. Shalom.